Hi, I'm Barry Anderson. I'm Chad Swindle. We're both agronomists with Ag Leader Technology. We're out here today standing on our agronomy research farm located in Ames, Iowa. What I wanted to, to expand a little bit more on is what we're doing as a team here at Ag Leader dealing with our tech trials. We're conducting not only our own research trials here on the farm, but we're also conducting trials across North America with, with on-farm trials and also working with land-grant universities. And the reason we're looking at all the different facets um, is that because we want to be able to understand the diversity that there is in production agriculture so that the data that we're conveying back to you is accurate and is of a quality. And the areas that I've been focusing on this year is dealing with mostly the Corn Belt. But my travels have taken me from Ohio you know, across through Nebraska, up through the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Ontario, looking at the trials that we're conducting out there this year. And so with that, I'm gonna actually have, turn it over to Chad so he can expand a little bit more on some of the trials that he has in his territory. Yeah, sure. I'm responsible for the, uh, the research that goes on outside the Corn Belt. So this year I've been to California, spent some time in Texas, Delaware, Kentucky, Mississippi, and Alabama. I'm from Mississippi. I travel a lot to go see these plots in person and really be hands-on with them. The reason that we're doing this is to help you as the customer or potential customer understand when you purchase this equipment, what is your return on investment? And then secondly, best management practices. So we understand that farming is different everywhere you go, not only geographically, but different crops and different ways of farming, even the same crop. We've seen that time and time again. Mm -hmm. Even just this year, we talk almost weekly about things that we're seeing in the plots. So how we're doing this, I want to take an example of our plots in Texas. So the most, uh, the most key thing with a plot, and I think Barry would agree, is the cooperator. So we're always looking for good cooperators. In Texas, we're working with USDA, and we have two sites there in Riesel and Temple, Texas. And we're really focused on our seed command product line this year. Uh, looking at looking at the plots there in Texas. We've got uh, turn compensation that we're studying. We're studying the effect of hydraulic downforce or lack thereof and also looking at the influence of planter speed on spacing quality and so on. So through the year we work with our cooperators to monitor these plots and in the plots we've targeted at least three replications of the treatments. So what that does, and, and Barry mentioned this, was it adds to the quality of our data. It gives us confidence. It, it makes the stats more significant. And we've tried to do that in every plot that we have across this broad geography. What we're also gonna do is take the yield data and we're gonna run a spatial analysis. So what that's gonna help us to determine is, uh, first and foremost, is the ag leader technology installed on this piece of equipment? Is the yield gain we're seeing truly from that? or is it from some other spatial effect like soil fertility or weather or you name it. You're a farmer, you understand that there's a lot of things that influence yield. We really appreciate your time and we thank you for uh, watching us today. And I too want to say thank you and stay tuned for additional videos.